Hi, I'm Crystal Tooney alongside Franz von Holzhausen. And Franz, can you please tell us with Tesla, what is new about this Model X? Well, Model X really starts with Model S. Um, this is a continuation of the platform that we designed for Model S. And it really uh, is our first launch into the SUV market as a fully electric vehicle. The Model X is all about innovation and, and improving uh, a product in a segment that needs a lot of help. Right, and innovation, look at these doors. Yeah, Falcon Wing doors. Probably the most recognizable or notable piece on Model X, but it's really about functionality and usability for the, for the vehicle and for access into the second and third row of the vehicle. This is you know, the biggest opening out of any of the um, products in this segment, and it really provides that ability to get to the third row or to deal with your kids in the second row. You can stand up in the car, you don't have to duck under and sneak around, and the doors are double hinged and they open vertically and then swing out, so they can open in an incredibly tight, confined space. So practical and functional, and the 17-inch... And good looking. Inch, and good looking. Yeah and the 17-inch monitor. We've taken the same idea from Model S, where we have a 17-inch screen there, and that's really, you know, we've removed all the, the kind of tactile hard buttons and made it all kind of infinitely configurable. And it's upgradable over time, so as you own your car, two or three years into your ownership experience, you're still getting a very fresh and clean and up-to-date modern interior um, with new, better function that we push to you as a consumer for free all the time. The basis for this vehicle is from Model S, so the drivetrain is all Model S. In the rear we have a Model S um, motor and then we have another motor up in front. So this is an all-wheel drive vehicle and our goal is to bring this to production with an all-wheel drive system in it. Two motors, powers four wheels. So what are the challenges in doing that? The challenge from a design perspective is making sure that we package that correctly and, and don't take away from the usable space. You know, Model X, even though there's a motor in the front, there's a huge amount of storage space in the front, you know, the, the front trunk that we have, you can see on Model X. All right, so let's break this down. An added motor, does that mean added performance? Actually, it does. You know, this vehicle can go from zero to 60 in five seconds. So the extra traction, the extra horsepower translates into more performance, so yes. It totally doesn't look like a minivan. Like, I get that practicality-wise, it works, but it's sporty and it looks like an SUV. Yeah, you know, no longer do you have to, you know, sacrifice style for practicality. And I think that's what we wanted to bring. The big story about Tesla is that, you know, you don't, to be green, you don't have to sacrifice your soul to kind of have something weird and quirky. And to be practical in this segment, you don't have to sacrifice your soul either. So we brought, you know, good design to a really functional um, vehicle. And yeah, I think it's a home run.